So now that we've decided what to base our ROM off of, we need to um, you know, start working with the files. And so I have uh, in my home folder, I have a folder called Git Playground where I just play with different things there. And so what I'd like to do is go ahead and uh, get my useless ROM Android um, cloned. And a really great tool for this is Git Kraken. Uh, you know, you can definitely do this from the command line. A lot of easy ways to do things. Uh, you know, it's just based on what you're familiar with. The great thing about Git Kraken is it's going to give us a, a GUI, a graphical user interface that uh, will help while I'm explaining what I'm doing and, uh, you know, just makes it really easy to work with. So we're going to clone a something from our github and we're going to do our useless rom android we're going to um, put it in our git playground so let's clone that repo we're going to open that now So you can see we have all of our uh, different uh, branches and things in here. Um, a lot of work that's been done by some other people. And we're going to be working with uh, um, Marshmallow in this case. And the reason that we're going to work with Marshmallow is because uh, we have the Blocks 2 phone that we built our Marshmallow uh, custom uh, device tree for and so we're going to be able to put this on to our blocks too which allows us to play with it but you could do this for any version of um, you know of Android that you are working with is just fine you can do the same principle of what we're going to do now whether you're doing it for uh, you know Oreo for Pi Nugget um, any of those but we're going to work with uh, um, CyanogenMod Mod or Lineage OS Marshmallow uh, just for the purposes of learning in this video here. So if we jump over to our folder we can see our useless ROM we see our default XML and our readme so a couple things that we need to change open up our readme here uh, the first thing we need to change is if you repo init this github.com and you do lineage os android.git you're not going to get what we have here <laughs> we're going to get something else so for instance what we want to do is use our um, repository and for now we'll just put this underneath here so we can kind of copy and paste the part we need so we'll take this, copy, and we'll paste this in here. And the branch CM-13.0 is just fine because that's the name of the Marshmallow branch that we want to use. So here we go, CM-13.0, right there. So that's good. We can save that real quick. Um, we could actually, you know, change all of this to be like useless ROM. We're probably not going to be accepting any patches from anybody, so this is a useless ROM that I am building for training purposes. Okay, we got our getting started here, where you can go get your source. All right, that's pointing to us, and we don't need any of that stuff. We don't need any of this stuff. There we go. So we'll save that. So now it's pointing to our material. Uh, if we jump here, we see that we have one file changed in our working directory. And it's up here at the top, our work in progress. And we can say, um, we'll call this uh, edited readme 
uh, description useless ROM. All right, so we're going to stage all of our changes, and we're going to commit those changes. Uh, once again, this is kind of a little more of our advanced study. This is not uh, a study on how you use Git, how you use uh, tools for building Android. Hopefully you already know how to do those things. This is how you make your own custom ROM. So if you need help with those things, I do have videos on those topics. You're welcome to check those out. Uh, I highly recommend them. Um, but this is this is going to skip a lot of the basic stuff. This We're just talking specifically about our target goal here. So we just push that uh, up here. And we are going to uh, refresh this page here. And we see now it says useless ROM and everything that we just changed. So that is great. Um, so now on to the next thing that we want to work on changing is uh, you, you do have this snippets uh, folder with some hows and that's fine. You can add more in there. Let's take a look at the default XML. <clears throat> now notice here that it is going to grab things from AOSP, from GitHub, and uh, you know then it gives some other options for private or remote. <clears throat> so in here, uh, by default, it should try to get them all uh, from one of these two places. So what we have here is a list of all the different things that it's going to go and get. Uh, now what's interesting is <clears throat> for yourself, you may not need all of this stuff. You may say, well, you know, I just don't really need all of these um, apps. I don't need, maybe you're like, you know what, I don't anticipate anybody ever wanting to build this on a Macintosh, so I'm going to get rid of all this Darwin stuff because that uh, all that's for is for Macintoshes. So that's not going to help you if you're building on a non-Macintosh computer. Uh, so just something to think about, like you could actually save yourself some space by getting rid of, of these Darwins. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and leave those for now because that's kind of irrelevant. Somebody in theory, if you were building a new custom ROM, you would want other people to be able to build it with whatever they had. So if they have a Macintosh and they want to build, you should leave that in to enable that for them. But for instance, each one of these is pointing to uh, something that gets added to your uh, custom ROM. And so for instance, let's take a look here to the app folder. So for instance, just some basic stuff that we could change. Um, we have these packages apps and we see in here all these different apps that gets built. For instance, we have the browser, we have the calendar, we have camera 2, we have uh, you know carrier config and all these different things. The dialer, right? Uh, so if you wanted something different you could look at another custom ROM and say I want to add this other custom thing as well uh, to mine uh, instead of instead of necessarily the ones that are in here or in addition to the ones that are in here so for instance if we wanted to steal something from OmniROM We'll go to OmniROM Android and take a look at theirs. Of course, we're building Marshmallow, so we go back to here and we take a look at their default XML. Um, and what would be something really cool? To, let's take a look at their apps here. Let's say we really like Apollo. We think Apollo is pretty awesome, uh, you know, for sound. And so we want to add that to our to our custom ROM. And we see in here that we don't have Apollo. We have audio effects, we have uh, a couple other things, but we do not have Apollo. And you can definitely search to make sure Apollo and it's not in there. So, easy thing to do. We're gonna take this, 
line right here. Copy that. Now, just pasting it in is not quite going to work. Now, a remote is going to be not OmniROM, but GitHub, because we're getting it from GitHub. Uh, and then, so we uh, put in our package here. We have package apps, Apollo, um, and, uh, and where that's going to go. But if it's just going to GitHub, that's actually not going to get to the right place. So for instance, if we find GitHub in here, we only have these four, but GitHub is an option for somewhere we can get it from. So the path let's jump over here to our OmniROM and we're going to say uh, Apollo there it is. So what we actually need is this right here and we're going to say remote github revision android dash six point oh which is what we need all right so we either did that right or we didn't, but we're going to find out here in just a minute. Uh, but the the great thing is, is this uh, makes it pretty easy for you to uh, to grab something here. So we've got this added in. We said, hey, we wanted to add Apollo, so let's uh, you know commit our changes here and see what happens. Add Apollo. Hollow from Omni from stage will commit, we'll push. All right, so let's uh, download this and start working with something. <laughs> 